Rutherford Issues. Rutherford Issues with Brian Barrett on FM 101.9 and AM 1450 Murfreesboro, FM 100.5 Smyrna. Listen and watch at WGNSRadio.com. Rutherford Issues is powered by Middle Tennessee Electric, who offers more than just electricity. Their community outreach team collaborates with schools, parents, and students to create engaging learning experiences. MTE, serving to make life better since 1936. Well, it's time to talk with James Price of the Better Business Bureau. And um, good morning. Morning. How you doing, Brian? Good. Good to have you. Uh, a lot to touch upon here today, and this is kind of maybe a little bit of a break from scams, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good stuff, you yeah. know? We have the... So, uh, we have... Uh, BBB has been looking for creative ways to thank businesses, and so we've come up with six ways that you can thank businesses. One, you can leave them a review, a good review. Uh, you can gauge them on social media. Make a purchase from them. They really love that. Oh, yeah. Shop local. Uh, leave a tip. Refer your friends. And then participate in different events that are going on with some of these businesses. So, uh, you know, with that, this is... Uh, we have made November Thank a Business Month. And so these are some of the things that we want to do. So... We'll get a little detail about some of the stuff, like leave a, a customer review. Customer experiences matter to businesses. You can leave a customer review on BBB.org for the businesses um, uh, or other online review sites to share your customer experience with the business that can help the business attract new customers and grow their online presence. Mm -hmm. So businesses are really into online reviews, uh, and it's really good when they're legit. Well, that's what I was going to ask because, I mean, there are so many. Uh, I don't want to single any of them out, but, you know, the the review sites, sometimes they'll, in the business, they'll have a sign that says scan the QR code to, to leave us a review or something like that. But mm. how do you, how are those managed? Who manages those? And if there is a bad review, but it's really a situation that has either been taken care of or is not factual i mean that's that's out there so on most social media websites when you leave a review you could leave a review and go back a second or two later and it's there right oh yeah, yeah. with bbb it doesn't work that way uh, and that's why bbb is is noted as the most trusted place for reviews because you can actually a business can actually go out and buy reviews and say hey i want to buy 50 five-star reviews so and there's people out there who will go okay we'll we'll write those up for you you notice they don't ever they don't ever buy four star or three star reviews oh no no no, no. or one star i think i would be really suspicious if there were all five star reviews on a place <laughs> right and, and rightly so yeah. and and i tell businesses all the time i says it's not bad to get a four star review every once in a while they don't all need to be five star i said you're not going to make everybody completely happy. You're just going to make most people really happy. Sure. And every once in a while, you're going to have somebody that you just can't satisfy. What What's the old saying is when the lady walks into the complaint department and they say, oh, what if we just, uh, you know, fire the manager, give you your money back, and send the whole staff to Tahiti or something, you know? <laughs> Would that make you happy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want more. Uh. So, but no, leave no leave a good uh, a good review for the business. So, let me ask you one other question. Follow up on that. So, you you said that if you leave a Yelp review and it pops up right there automatically, when you when you leave a review a BBB review, it doesn't show up. So, what happens to it in the time from when the customer writes that to it showing up on? the review site so we actually have somebody who works full-time working reviews okay and what they do is they go to this person and what the that person will do is they'll send the review to the business and let the business respond to it if it's a five-star review hopefully the business goes hey thank you very much for the review yeah if it's a one star the business has the opportunity to go um no it didn't happen that way you know or 
you know, giving them opportunity to fess up. And I'm, or I'm so sorry this happened, let's fix it. Yeah. Uh, before it hits. Right, absolutely. And then sometimes, uh, and complaints kind of work the same. BBB has complaints and reviews. So uh, when you file a complaint, you're wanting something from the business. Mm-hmm. When you file a review, you're showing what, what happened at the business. What's your experience at that business? And you don't necessarily want something. You're just gonna. You're just right. trying to tell everybody what happened, good, bad, or ugly. It. it, it that's what reviews are for. Um, but complaints are the things where uh, businesses need to do something about it. And I given, mean, the, given the chance to fix a one or a two star mm-hmm. review and to help someone, even if it is a review, mm-hmm. I think most business owners would do whatever they could to try to rectify the right. situation. And most most businesses are out there, they want to satisfy their customers and they'll bend over backwards for that customer. What they don't want to do is people taking advantage of them and sure. blackmail them and that kind of stuff. And BBB doesn't allow that. If we find out that a customer is trying to blackmail a business into giving them something for a positive review or something like that, we won't even post a review. It's like, no. You know, we're we really look into those pretty heavily. So I, I guess the, the real point is here that there's a real person behind the review that looks at it, mm-hmm. sends it to the business. The business can give a thumbs up on a five star. You don't even post a five star review without it being looked at first. Mm-hmm. No, That's interesting. Not at all. And then the other part about it is you got to think about with all the reviews that go on all these other websites, when you post it and it comes up right away, nobody looked at that. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, there might be some software in there that, that will flag them if they have certain words, like four-letter words and that right, kind of right. stuff. But uh, for the most part, um, no, though. On the, and I always tell people that if you're going to make a complaint or you're going to make a review, just do it like you're Spock from Star Trek. Oh, yeah. Just the facts. <laughs> just the facts. Don't get emotional about it. You know, don't use any four-letter words or all caps. <laughs> just this is what happened. You know, and good, bad, whatever it is, you know, just leave a good review. Yeah. You mentioned engaging um, uh, social media, mm-hmm. right? Uh, yeah. So, you know, follow your favorite businesses on social media and like comments and that kind of stuff. Share your content. You can also tag the business on post sharing your customer experience, social media experience, and help a business boost its visibility and gain uh, new followers along the way who end up may end up being new customers for them. And uh, sometimes that can be a lot of work. If you follow a whole lot of people, yeah. your, your, your phone just explodes on you. So, uh, uh, but I mean, if you really like the business, I mean, connect with them, engage with those businesses. Uh, another one is refer your family and friends. If someone you know is in need of a, a new roof, maybe your friends and they need uh go find a restaurant or a dinner reservation um you know where's the best place to eat uh word of mouth uh is powerful in referring and recommending businesses to friends families uh uh anybody it's an impactful way to encourage others to support a business that you really love and so you know one of the things that you'll get in talking to people about on a frequent basis is well what's your favorite restaurant you know, mm-hmm. what's your go-to restaurant, you know? Well, and that's, you know, that's what we tell customers as well. Uh, it, if word of mouth is the, you know, the most impactful way to engage and spread word about your business, that's why we like to have in commercials testimonials and the actual business owner saying, please patronize our mm-hmm. business. I mean, when you can go in and see Wade Hayes at Toots mm-hmm. and you've heard him, you know, you, you feel a little closer to that person. So, I mean, it makes it personal. And so it does matter to businesses that way for sure. And, you know, there's an old saying in business where, hey, if my business did a bad job, tell me. Right. If we did a great job, tell everybody. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and sometimes it's backwards, you know, <laughs> on the way that works. So uh, if a business doesn't do a good job, let them know about it. Uh, in this day and age, you know, businesses can't afford to give a customer a bad experience the word just travels too fast right and there's so much competition right anymore yeah Yeah. Uh, it's thank a business month james price of the better business bureau is here with us how can you thank local businesses um 
What's next? Uh, making a purchase? Make a purchase, yeah. You know, whether you plan to visit in person or shop online, make, you know, making a purchase for, for a business is basically the best way you can support a business. You know, it not only helps the community, but it helps um, put a lot of people to work. You know, think of all the people who work there. And, you know, once those people get paid, they're going to turn around and spend money, maybe at your business. So, uh, you know, make a purchase. Do it locally. If you... If you're making more purchases locally, you're keeping all that money local. If you're making purchases other places, then that that money gets spent when they receive it. It gets spent other places. So, and with the holiday season coming up, you can get creative. Do some of your holiday shopping at your favorite local businesses and retailers. It's a great way not only to support the business but also refer your family and friends. You know, take some friends shopping with you or something like that. So. Um Making a purchase, obviously, I would think that that would that could even be number one. But you know, the, I mean, it's important to stay in business. You've got to make money, right? Right. <laughs> what about the uh, leaving a tip? Leave it, you know, leave a generous tip. If you want to thank your favorite local coffee shop or restaurant, consider leaving an extra tip for their employees. You know, during the holiday season, that's a really, uh, you know, that's a good way to give an extra Christmas gift to somebody or holiday gift to somebody. Maybe you normally tip. 15 20 percent you know maybe during the holiday when you go visit you give them a little extra uh for their stocking along the way yeah. let them know that you appreciate those businesses you know you see that in a lot more businesses now than you used to i mean it's 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 more prevalent you know when you are cashing out there or or paying there's almost always an option to leave a tip yes um and there's a lot of sides to that, you know, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I mean, I think good service should be rewarded. Um, I don't think businesses should just expect that if you, this is your tab, this is your tip. I mean, I think they're still earning it along the way. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, if you don't provide good service, should you be required to leave a regular size tip you know uh well, that's a whole different can of worms to even yeah. talking about <laughs> about <laughs> tips because you know does it fall within well that's kind of your job or you know all kinds of things like that but you know if you feel led to do that give give a generous tip and just know that it makes it goes a long way to help those people and remember it's thank a business month exactly so maybe we're maybe you're going big maybe you like the f food at some place and the last time you went there it wasn't so great and you go you know what normally i like this i'm gonna give it another shot and i'm not only gonna give it another shot but when i get there i'm gonna leave an extra tip because it's thank a business month there you go <laughs> a good positive spin there <laughs> uh so the, another one is participate in special promotions or event I mean, is your favorite hosting an event or running a special promotion? Get involved, join in the fun and encouragement to, with others to support the business too. You'll see a lot of uh, uh, nonprofits that will have you know certain events at different places, uh, and the businesses are sponsoring that. So um, you know, invite more people in. Um, networking events a lot of times they have it at restaurants and that kind of stuff, um, and so. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, participate in special events. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have promotions and things like customer appreciation, anniversaries, uh, uh, things like that. So thank a business month. And uh, in our last minute here, any final thoughts? I see you have a proclamation. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, our mayor, Shane McFarland, was all over this. He issued a proclamation for this uh, from the city of Murfreesboro. He says, whereas the city of Murfreesboro recognizes the vital role that businesses play in continuing to the economic prosperity and cultural richness of our community, and whereas local businesses in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, ranging from small enterprises to large establishments, contribute significantly to job creation, innovation, and unique character that defines our city, and whereas the city of Mur Murfreesboro joins the Better Business Bureau, serving Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky, and acknowledging the hard work, dedication, and reliance demonstrated by our business community, especially in the fact of challenges, and whereas November represents an opportune time to express gratitude and application for the contributions of local businesses and encourage residents to support our businesses, 
Therefore, I, Shane McFarland of the City of Murfreesboro, on behalf of the entire City Council, do proclaim November as Thank You Business Month. Cool. The city of Murphy. That's Park. awesome. I'm glad the mayor and the council uh, did that. And uh, thank a business. That's kind of the whole theme here this morning. James, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Brian. James Price of the Better Business Bureau joining us here on the Rutherford Issues today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget, uh, if you missed part of our conversation this morning, the podcast will be up shortly at WGNSRadio.com.